nothing changes for us. Just another three points. Question asked by that cross. Toby, if he can get it onto his right foot. My shoot anyway. Great crowd here today. You can really see it lined up behind the hashtag goal. They're looking for one here. It's Wayne Reed crosses it in. He gets to Teddy Ola. Balls to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? And welcome to, once again, the biggest game in hashtag United history. We keep saying that, but they keep getting bigger. We're at home today against great Wakering Rovers in the league, but not just any league game. This is the game we could clinch promotion to the highest level hashtag United's men's team have ever played at, the seventh tier or step three of non-league, the Ishmian Premier League, the league below the National League setup. And we don't need to worry about other games today. Like Monday, we need other teams to slip up. Not today, it's in our hands. And we don't even need to win the game. We can draw the game and get promoted. In fact, there is actually a world where we could lose today and get promoted if Sudbury dropped points because they have to get maximum points for the rest of the season if they can even catch us. But we don't care about that. We want to do our job. And that could be as simple as getting a draw today. But of course, we prefer to do it in true hashtag style with a big hashtag win. And you know what also is shocking about today? It's one of the first games ever we actually have a full squad of players available for selection. Harry Hayson returned from injury on Monday. He played. And Max Cornhill is now returned to the squad for today. So everyone was available. It's not often we get to say that, but we don't expect a walkover against Great Wakering. They are fighting for their lives in this division. They're at the other end of the table. They really need a win today, more than us, you could argue. And they are not going to be a pushover, guys. They're going to fight us every minute of this game. For me, I think we need to get an early goal because I don't want it to get nervy. I don't want them to believe they can do something because not only do they believe a win will maybe keep them in the league, they also know they can stop our party, a party that a lot of people have come out to support today, including our OG legends like Rich Beck and Ryan Adams and loads and loads of people that have come out to watch and support the tags. Listen, I'm nervous. You can probably hear it in my voice. It's, a, it's not a normal game for us and we just need to go out and do ourselves proud. I'll tell you one thing, if we play the way we can, we will win the game. I'll tell you that for free and we will get promotion today. It's going to be an unbelievable feeling if we do it. <sighs> Up the tax. Probably been the most difficult task I've had today, picking the, the, the side. And that's more of a reflection of the people that are not starting than it is the ones that are starting. Because we've brought ourselves to this position as a, as a whole group, as a squad. Um, so those of you that are starting, make sure you bring in an energy and a, and a performance level that does everybody, does this whole football club justice. And those that you are not, be ready to come on and, and, and take it to another level when you get that chance. These, obviously they're fighting for their lives. They need the points to stay up. With other postponements this the today, I think it means they can't go down today. And I don't know if that will change their mindset or not. Nothing changes today from last Saturday, last Monday. It's still the same situation. We have to make sure we stay focused. We have to concentrate on the game and nothing else. So let everybody else make noise. Shut that out now and be focused and professional in our job. Get the ball into our wide areas, create overloads, get in the box. And go and run all over them. We've said it all year. Go and run all over teams. Be relentless in what we do. Yeah, nothing changes for us. Just another three points. Let's go. Let's go. Come, on. Come, on, Come on. So let's take a look at the team Devs has chosen when every single player was available for selection. He's gone with James Philp in goal. Matthew Waldridge moves back to left back, which means Wyan Reid comes back into the team at right back. Centre back is Tom Anderson and Greg Halford. That was a really difficult decision for Devs this week with the likes of Harry Hayson back available. Nathan Smith, he won League Two for crying out loud, but cannot break up the partnership of Anderson and Halford. In midfield, Lewis Watson keeps his place after scoring. The captain fantastic on Monday. He's alongside PK Humble, meaning Max Cornhill is on the bench today. Ahead of them is the goal scoring machine, Jermaine Francis, meaning we have Pedro Carvalho, who got a goal and two assists last time out, as well as player of the match. On the other wing, we have Toby Aramalaren, who's got the most assists of anyone this season at 17. And up front, is Alex Teniola looking to get his 149th and 150th non-league goal today. On the bench, that leaves Nathan Smith, Harry Hasem, Max Cornell, Ollie Miles and Iman Akunja. What a side, what a bench, what a team. Let's get promotion, up the tags. And PK is going to get us underway eventually. And this is it, boys. Can we get the W? Or more importantly, can we get the P for promotion? 
great crowd here today. You can really see it yeah, lined really up behind the hashtag goal. Now. They're looking for one here. There's Wyan Reed crosses it in. It goes to Teddy Ola. Oh! It's a huge save, Sebi. It's a huge save. They're claiming for a handball. The ref's not interested, but AT did so well to bring that one down. I don't know how it's not gone in. I've just seen a replay. I don't think it is a handball, you know. I think he should probably score. It's on his left foot, but I think the goalkeeper needs the credit there. Shout out to Fares, Harry Fares, a great Wakering, stopping what would have been an early and important hashtag goal. How love is it to see the uh, Carvalho corner? Tom Anderson rising like a yellow salmon. To see the sideways there, completely lined. It's lovely to see, isn't it? Alex Teniola. Uh, if you took the last two months of Jermaine, he'd be heads and tails above everyone. His yeah. stats have been a joke. I think he had eight goals in six games going into last week, which means it's nine and seven now. Oh, what a touch that week. is from AT to unleash that man. Here Jermaine. is Jermaine. Can he put it back? AT! Yeah! Here we go! There's the goal! It's Teniola time once again. And of course, it's Jermaine Francis laying it on a plate like a Michelin star waiter. We've just been saying about how many of Hashtag's recent goals Jermaine's been involved in. And once again, it's the architect. It's actually a great bit of link up between the two of them. Lovely flick on from AT, who started the move. Jermaine did what he did, looked after the ball, picked out his striker, and 149 non league goals for Alex Teniola. We spoke to him in the pre-match preview. He arrived on time there. He was just where he needed to be there as well, Spenny. Let's do this. Strikers finish. He could have had one a few minutes ago, but he made sure on the second opportunity. It's a lively start from the tag. It's exactly what we need. And as things stand, we will be the champions. We will be promoted. If you go on football web pages right now, there'll be a C next to our name for champions, by the way. AT is going to go into Jermaine now. Jermaine, the man who everything he touches turns to goals at the moment. PK, oh, lovely, lovely little drag back. Finds Matty Waldridge, who's just played left back or right back. Either way, he's played this season. Most minutes, in fact, if he plays today, 90 minutes and 90 minutes next week, he will break the record at hashtag for most minutes of the season. Wine Reed, another good question asked so by that cross. Have one here. Oh, Toby, if he can get it onto his right foot, might shoot anyway. Outside of the boot is always a challenge. Sudbury 1 0 up, by the way, if you're wondering. So Sudbury doing their job against Brentwood Town, but their job is meaningless if we do ours. And they have got guaranteed second place now as well, at a minimum. So they'll get the advantage in the playoffs if they're doing it, going to playoffs. It means you'll be at home in the semi-final. If you win, you'll be home in the final, which is massive. And they get a chance to rest players in the last game of the season as well. Yeah, true. Which Pedro is. looking for a shot here. And he has been scoring from those sort of angles of late against Tilbury, against Whitton, the right foot curler. Collins flicks it on. Lewis Watson may have handled it there, but the ref's not... Oh, Given nice. it. Good flick from Toby to Teniola. Teniola over his head for the encroaching Jermaine Francis, who goes back to Teniola. Ooh. Side foots it. He looked goal bound, Sebby. He did look goal bound. The thing is, you know they'd be happy to be 1 0 down in the 89th minute. You, they would play for that because that, that, that's, it could be so much worse. I think they won't come at us if we do this. Do you know what I mean? I don't think they're going to run at us. We need the second goal to make them come and play. Yeah. I'm not saying that to disparage them by any means. It's a game, looking at the form guide, it is a good game plan against the team that's been doing what we've been doing. Okay. Pedro on the ball here, turning, finding Jermaine. Not Can he get a shot mean. off? Tries a little feed oh. into the box. Oh, keeper actually spills it momentarily. Would have been perfect if it had a little bit less pace. Just need a tiny bit on that wet, zippy, artificial surface. So hard to get them to hold up. But it wasn't far off. It, that pass reminded me of me. It, it, it was <laughs> in the sense of... It was good, but too quick. a mirror on its back. It was too quick. It was too... All oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> too quick for his own good. Right. Ball into the box here. Looking for David Knight. He'll bring this down. Did he have a chance to head it? Gets a shot off. Wyan Reed, though. An important block. Could he have hit that first time, Sebi? Right, they're having a bit of the ball here, Great Wakering. We can't relax. We've got to do the job and finish it. I imagine Collins will have a delivery on him, you know. Yeah, I do as well. Nice. You know, and you see he's quite him. twinkle toes, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? He's quite light on his feet. Despite well, he tried to sort of knuckleball that pass then, and it just got cut out by Wine Reed. I can imagine him being one that might fancy a little free kick with the left peg. He reminds me of someone. You know who he reminds Jamie me Paul. of? He used to play for Andy Reid. Do you remember Andy Reid? Oh, yeah. But he wasn't a left yeah. back, of course. Yeah. But he was a similar sort of stature and left footed. Toby's out Toby. there. Toby, good header. Jermaine Francis lovely finds AT, feet. finds Toby. Toby, oh, that's a big kick. challenge, though. No, it was a good challenge, I think, from the number six, Duffy. But here's Pedro! Oh! Oh, it's another one! It's two, and it's looking very good for the tags. A long way to go, Seb. We're 2-0 up. The move was worked beautifully, but when Pedro got on there, 
when he gets possession, there's so much work to be done still to get that half a yard out of him and to put it, really, to be fair, the keeper fares has dived all the way there. It must have been inch perfect in the corner. It's a really tidy finish for a man who's been amongst the goals very regularly as well. Great goal for the tags. And now we can start to relax, maybe. Much like Lewis Watson's finishing the same goal this time last week, right in that corner, nothing the keeper could do. An exemplary top-tier finish from Pedro Carvalho. It's his 10th goal of the season. He's in double figures, along with Jermaine Francis, Toby and Alex Tenyoda. That shows you how much of a spread of goals we have had. He only needs one assist today to go double figures for them as well. Take a bow, Pedro. You do wonder what Great Wakering will do now because they're going to have to really gamble. And I think they'll get chances, but I think it's going to open things up for us even more. David Knight, good touchdown. Lovely little pass inside. Oh, it's a, it's a rash challenge, but advantage is being played. Shot is off. Tom Anderson gets across you know brilliantly. What? He's gone, no, you he's can't gone back. go back. I was about to say to you, we've got a wave on there because the shot goes on goal, which means he can't go back. But he's gone back anyway. I didn't how, think that was a rule. How can you go back? I think when you've allowed the shot on goal, you can't do it. If the shot goes in, he doesn't go back, does he? And I think that's what Greg Halford's saying to him. It's Lacey, and he's a lefty. And can he leave us with the ball in the back of our net? No. Justice. We've conceded left footed free kicks to Great Way Queen before, by the likes of Ben Brooks. But that one hit the bar, and it was very close, Seb. I think anyone would agree the fairest thing is for us and Sudbury to both go up. Bay the season's gone. But I fancy lower stuff, do you know? I would, yeah. I feel like they've got a chance. Way, this is almost on, we, perfect. We got, we're talking like we're not in it yet. We, we haven't done the job yet, Seb. We can't get too comfortable. I want no. a third before I get comfortable. Okay, all right. Let's wait for a third. Waldridge heads it away. And obviously, if we're in the playoffs, oh, I don't, no, I don't here fancy he is. He's going to shoot. He has shot. What a what save. What a hand. James Philp. Thank you. Another big part of the season. Strong right arm. It was well positioned, low and in the corner. But that wasn't just a hand in the right place, but that was a firm wrist to push that out of danger as well. A reminder of what David Knight can do as well on his weaker foot there. It's a good low strike, forcing the best out of James Philp. Corner here can be taken by Thompson. In the box. Halford. Greg Halford rises. Headed back in by Bland, but headed away by Alex Teniola. And now Toby can get this under. Takes a Ooh. touch. Confidently, but maybe too confidently. A clearance could have been better. Another long-range shot. They're getting in the game, Sebi. You've got to look out for the, there's got the, the problem with that is there's the one instigating group. I don't know if we've got that the instigating The only way to stop here. pitch invasion, you literally have to have stewards around the whole pitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. You no, can't no, stop no, it. No one on the league going to be able to even that. They, the Simon game couldn't stop it. No, <laughs> that's because there's hundreds yeah, and hundreds like of hordes of of uh, Persians falling on Sparta. Persians. We need... Um, our, arrows, our arrows will blot out the sky. It's the one group. We, we need, the we need to have a, a bunch of guys who want to do it. Good ball for Pedro. In behind from Matty Waldridge. Can he get a shot away here? Looks for a pass instead. Oh, he's gone down. Penalty. He's going to get a penalty. It. Now then. Wow. That's a big moment in the game. I just watched Greg Halford stride forward here. Greg won't let anyone else he have it. He won't let anyone Jermaine is running it. to the ball. I think Jermaine is doing the old... No, Jermaine's gone to congratulate Pedro, that's all. Or is he going to do the old, I'll take the ball, so I, I take the pressure of the uh, away team, you know, and then the penalty taker comes and takes it. It's that's a new great. tactic. Yeah, You're seeing yeah, it a lot in football now. Greg Halford, take it away for 3-0. It's in! Of course it's in! It's never not in when Greg Halford is in the conversation. Sir Gregory of Halfordshire... Step up and take your throne. It's another goal. We talked about it. He's so composed, Ben. He's so deadly in those positions. The hashtag's most decorated player scores one of hashtag's most important ever goals. Now it's going to be interesting to see how that affects the game. 3 0 is a sizable Can we enjoy ourselves now? We have to concede four goals without scoring again. I don't want to tempt fate, but have we ever lost from 3 0 up? Oof. Jermaine Francis on the ball. Is he going to shoot? Oh, there's a shot come cross. It's going to come to Toby. Oh, Tobias. And that's why he's right-footed, guys. That he is tried evidence. to caress it, didn't he? I think he sports Arsenal. I was, was going to guess Arsenal. Was that a handball? Toby's got it, though. It's going to come back to Great Wakering, though, after deflection. Kamara. He looks like he could play further up yeah, this Kamara. Kamara, I rate him. He's looked good so Maybe far. Maybe they should get him on the wing. Oh, free kick. Oh, he's going to give a card. Warning towards Pedro here. He's a big yellow card, that is. So the captain, Lewis Watson, is it? Or for oh, no, PK? It might, oh, it might have been PK. PK will be will miss next game, I think, if that's it for PK. Maybe you say we shouldn't have dared to write a script. Yeah, we, were, uh, yeah. we weren't. I wasn't that confident. I mean, I, I always believed in the boys. Just here, like we you go, said, here we go, here we go, here we go. Football has a way of... of you know, that is electricity! Pedro. 
Carvalho, can he get another one? Oh. Fez it to AT for his second of the game. Oh, oh. he just gets stuck under his feet. It needed a little dinky winky there, didn't it? It did need a little dinky winky, but Pedro Carvalho, the turn of pace, the acceleration, and the c control of the ball in close proximity. And you're talking about close quarters. The electricity. He's in yellow and blue. It was like watching Pikachu it through the middle. It was a little bit like that. It might even have been Raikachu. That's a good game, actually. You can play in your own time at half time. If everyone, all our players are Pokemon, what Pokemon would they be? Here we go. Pedro, Pico's going to fancy he's him Blastoise in. Blastoise running after the ball. Play, he would he's be gonna Blastoise get there. as well. PK, he's a bit wide, but can he find someone else at the back post? Or can he shoot? PK, yeah! yeah! I don't know who got it, but I don't care who got it. PK definitely set it up. That's all that matters. It's 4-0 to the tags. It's a goal in the last seconds of the first half, and everything is looking good. That was so sensational from PK. He doesn't get forward as much as maybe he'd like to, but when he does, he's an absolute danger. Use his strength and his speed, picked out the ball, missed a 150, gets us that fourth goal on the stroke of half time. So is it confirmed it's a Teniola goal, is it? I think so, yeah. Okay, it's 150 non league goals for him. Well done to Alex Teniola. That's a fantastic achievement. You know, PK, he took that yellow card personally and he said, watch this. He went into Blastoise mode. And, yeah, we're, we're falling him up at the break, Seb. It's looking very good for promotion. Yeah, it's looking fantastic, Sven. We couldn't have dreamed to have a more comfortable position. It's not just been the performance we needed. It's been the performance we'd dreamt of. The boys have been electric. They've been attacking. They've been strong at the back. They've taken their chances phenomenally well. And they're getting a huge standing ovation from this hashtag crowd. And they deserve every single bit of it. Let's see what Dev thinks. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous to be talking about, you know, the position we're in at half-time. You know, it couldn't have gone any better in terms of the scoreline, but we've not done ourselves justice whatsoever. All right, and now, now is the time. You know, you've got a four goal lead. Shouldn't be any nerves about us, but there can't be complacency. It's zippy, it's skiddy, it's horrible, and we're trying to do too much with first touches. In bad areas, give them a sniff and give them a go. I don't care that it's 4-0. This is about standards. This is about us. This is about what, whether you want people to walk away and go, oh yeah, they're, they're, they're a cut above. Or, what, or are they going to walk away and go, well, they're lucky the opposition is so bad. Be good decision makers. Be better decision makers. Here we go. And we're underway for the second half. An amazing 857 people here in the crowd today. It's a non-league home record for the tags. And uh, it's seven more than we had for the uh, big game against Sudbury a few weeks ago. So well done to everyone that's come down. Fantastic effort. Pique to Pedro. He's got AT ahead of him. He wants a hat-trick. He's already hit 150 non-league goals, but now he wants three today. Pedro, the left-footed cross. is to dig it out towards Toby at the back post, whose header is high and off target. He's going to go long. And that'll be... Oh, oh my God. Wow. Oh that was one of them where Phil it. has to say, just don't touch it, because yeah. I can come and yeah, get that. He's a big shout, doesn't he? Just say, keep his ball. That could have been a horrible own goal, that. They're getting the ball and they're keeping it well, but they're not doing it in dangerous areas at the moment. Great way, Kring. Here's a chance, though, with a pass for the substitute to chase. And it's a goal kick, I think. Give him the oh. corner, Spenny. I'm sure Tom Anderson kicked that against him. Corner, then, for Great Way Kring. Should it have been a corner? We don't know. Comes in, headed away by Watson. Pedro gets enough on it to look for PK. Oh, what's he giving Outside here the then? box, giving a free kick. Against PK, what, for a high foot? Get him off, oh, just get him sure. off. If it is, just get him off. He's on a yellow card yeah. and the ref will have that in his thinking now. So well done to PK and Pedro who make way. And then a the final change will be Harry Hayson. I'm going to guess it's for, it looks like Greg has, has, has gone. Where is Greg? has gone off, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, Greg for, for Hayson. I don't think he's ever had a bad game in a hashtag shirt, Harry Hayson, to be honest. Throw in. Oh, it's brilliant. Jermaine, can you get a shot off? Goes back inside. He's going to score. Yeah! Oh, it's just like that. Yes! Three substitutions and an instant goal. And another one for Jermaine Francis. Unbelievable stuff. Out of absolutely nowhere. Well, I was just commending Jermaine that off the ball, when the subs were being made, the ball was nowhere near over here. Jermaine just kept running. He's got such an energy and enthusiasm. It's a fantastic celebration. It's a strike. It's absolute, but he deserves that, Jermaine. Been everywhere today once again. Such a hunger and a great finish. Jermaine's been bowling us over with his performances for far too long. And as, as if you've have you seen that famous bowling uh, celebration when the guy says, Who do you think you are? I am. Jermaine is definitely him. 
Anderson to Watson. Nice stuff, here boys. Go. Here we go. Reed, inside here. He's found a little uh, line for him to take to the hit shot. Keeper oh, spilled it. Oh, he's done well to gather that one. He's hit very much with a lot of power from Wine Reed. Matt Waldridge. Loads of. Has he got an invitation? Go on, eh? He's been invited. Oh, oh and he's RSVP'd. Very nice strike. Once again, Fares is called in to make a save. He does get it away for a corner, but it's zipping off that wet surface, Benny. Yeah, he's not holding on to things, is he? No, he's not. It's worth following in. I'm sure the boys are. Waldridge. Jermaine's free at the back. Tom Anderson looking for Teniola for the hat trick. Oh, he chests it down. Can he go back to Jermaine? He does. Francis waiting for the opportunity to open up. Back onto his right foot. He needs an option. Where's the support? Eman might have it. He's toying with him. She's playing with him. Jermaine against Kamara here. Great ball. Toby! Oh! Was it harder to miss? I think it might have been. It was such a great bit of patient build-up play from Jermaine. He waited, he waited, he waited. And then the most dainty little ball to the back post, right on Toby's head. He just needed to direct a goal, and it was in. It was six. Jermaine. You just wouldn't want to have to defend against him, no, would you? No, thanks. Look at the running. Human, you didn't get the ball back there. Wine Reed cutting inside once again. Looking for AT, flicks it. Reed is going to make something out of pretty much nothing here. Still Reed. Toby, bit of a, a short pass to Toby there. Matty loves to shoot. Might have one here, you know. He's going to go through. Keeper's going to have to come. Left foot. Oh, he's done awfully well there, Fares. Got to say fair play to Fares. You have to. Sunshine through my window. Is that a song? That's what you are. My shining star. star. Jermaine's my shining Sunshine. star. Good header in the middle there from the man from Great Wakering. Moriarty on the ball. Plays it to David Knight. Can he get something going in the box for the boys here? Oh, it's a great save from Phil. And not for the first time today. They could have had the ball in the back of the net. But our man in red, James Philp, said no. Bland plays it to Thompson. So we come to E-man here. Thompson's on a bit of a uh, mission to get it back. Reed just sends it towards Teniola. Teniola does well to find E-Man. E he's in. Oh, oh red card. Should be a red card. Surely. Red card. Has to be. There's no advantage there. Has to be a red card. Now, does he send him off? I'm not the sort of guy to call for it at 5-0, but it does have to be a red card. He's just he's just bottled a red card here. So Look, you can see the Lino smile from here. He's basically just like going, let's have pity on him. That's not how football works. What though. did he just give? What decisions he made? And he blew the whistle and he just didn't change his mind. Five minutes left. Less than five minutes of normal time. I can't imagine the ref will play much injury time. Jermaine. Looking for AT. Good to Max. Jermaine will get there. God, he gets everywhere. It's that polyfiller. Still Jermaine. Can he put it in? Left foot. Goes back to his right. Scoops it. Max is there. Gets a head on it. Cornhill! Oh, Maxi Cornhill is back <laughs> with a star jump. Let's go. The star jump was delightful. I give it an 8 out of 10, but it's 6 for Hashtag United today. And of course, Jermaine Francis involved again. Getting everywhere, Spen. Everywhere. And it's another goal contribution. And Max Cornell is back on the pitch and back amongst the goals. We've run out of plaudits for Jermaine Francis. He is star boy. He is him. Max Cornell, our number six, scoring our sixth of the day. And our 201st goal in non-league football. We're six nil up and Jermaine Francis fighting for every breath like we're... He knows, down. I think, there's going to be a, a long line of suitors coming for him this summer. And I think uh, he wants to make sure that list is as long as possible. Well, you know what? Ooh. No, oh, don't penalty. give it. He's given a penalty. What a shame. What a the waste. ref was so keen to give that spin. I can't explain to you. I know, but it, it they will so be. In a game like this, you, you do, as a neutral, you feel sorry for the other team. So when things happen, it gives them an opportunity. Just like just that. Just a shoulder barge, wasn't it? Can we see it again? Yeah, we'll have a look at a replay. But just like that, the clean sheet could be in risk, which would be really annoying. Stick Jermaine in goal quick. It will save it. We haven't seen him save a penalty yet. He's faced a few in some shootouts and in games. Could this be the moment? It doesn't actually matter. It doesn't mean anything. But it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? It'd just be magical. Because we've won the league, guys. We're going up. This would just be the icing on the cake. We don't need it. But should we have it anyway? Should we be greedy? Let's have icing on our cake. James Phil. It's a very long run-up, you know, Spen. It's a very long run-up. I'm just going to put that out there without judgment. Moriarty's going to take it for great Waker in Rovers. But we've got James Phil! We've got James Phil! 
What a save! The sheet and look, stays we're on the clean. We're on the break because it's not over. Jermaine is relentless. Francis on the ball. Crowd have gone wild after the penalty save. Philp's first penalty save of the season. The least important penalty he could have saved. But Unbelievable. it is still important in a way, isn't it? Especially for this crowd, 857 strong. You don't run up that long. It's just it's unnecessary. You need four steps, five max. You had about eight. There it is. It's over. It's promotion. It's the title. We've done it again. Three promotions in four seasons. Another league title. And you've just got to put hashtag United alongside the likes of AFC Wimbledon and Salford City. These sort of teams. The rise through non-league has been just as meteoric. The story even more unique. And yes, whilst we may not share their long history, my God, our future is exciting. Absolutely storybook ending to a sensational season for the Tags. You can't write it. 6-0 and a penalty save at the last minute to wrap up the league title. Sven, there was definitely a couple of minutes the ref had it on there. He had it oh, on 20 yeah. seconds. Yeah. He'd had enough. he had enough. It was time to crown our champions. I am delighted. The boys should be so proud of themselves. I'm so proud of them. I'm proud of them. not just the boys on the pitch, but everyone at this club. It's been unbelievable this season. We've broken every record in terms of goals scored, in terms of win percentage. It's the highest we've ever finished, obviously, because it's a league title at the highest level we've ever played at. But we're going higher again. Well, today's UFL Player of the Match is a very tough one. Not just for his assists, not just for his goal for everything he did in between, Spen. It was absolutely sensational performance from him once again. The UFL player of the match is Jermaine Francis. I think the time for talking is done. I think we need to get down there and enjoy ourselves. Let's get down there, Spenny boy. See some of these Thank boys. You, for now, you'll see the league table. It's done, it's finished, it's over. There's one game to play, but we know we're going up. We are the champions. We'll be saying hello to a new league next season, the Ishmian Premier Division, which is one league below the National League setup. The dream continues, thanks to you guys. Drop a like if you're happy to see it happen. Subscribe if you're not already. Become a member if you want to really help power the good ship hashtag. And until next time, up the tags. Oh, and if you want to see some more celebrations, check out the link in the description for the extra channel. Going off. See the after continue party. there, after dark. Bye-bye. <laughs>